Hey there, and welcome to section three, exposure correction. In this section, we're basically gonna be adjusting the lights and darks for all of our images. Chances are sometimes your images just come out a little bit light or a little bit dark. So we're gonna be looking at shadows, midtones, and highlights for the images. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna click on our first image here, D for the develop module. And for this entire section, we're gonna be sticking around here in this tone area, all right? So this is what we need for our exposure right here. Okay, now chances are your exposure is probably not that far off. If, you know, if your image looks like that, obviously you need to <laughs> change your exposure. But if I bring my exposure up a little bit brighter, we can see, well, a little bit looks pretty good, but we start to lose a lot of detail you can see in the face and, and things like that. So in this case, we'll bring our exposure up just a little bit, there we go. Now contrast, we can bring this up or down. And a lot of this is kind of like, hey, are you just kind of clicking these sliders and dragging them left and right and seeing what looks good? Um, and the answer is kind of yes. That's like <laughs> pretty much what you do. Because um, every single image is different, right? Like I can't tell you to just punch in these values and all your images will work. Um, it's it's going to really depend on every image's image that you do. All right, so our highlights. Now, what I can see is basically, I wanna get my background as bright as possible. I'd wanna bring up my highlights just as long as it's not affecting what's going on here in the skin. I don't wanna start blowing out any detail in the skin. All right, now if I bring shadows up a little bit, it's gonna kinda of open his face up a little bit, make his skin look a little bit lighter. If I bring my shadows down, it's gonna kinda of bring the skin a little bit darker. So we're gonna choose somewhere that looks really nice on our background without going too, too light. There we go. Whites I tend to leave alone for the most part because they tend to do like really weird funky stuff to an image, especially with skin. They tend to turn skin that like orangey color. So um, I tend, if you do tend, if you do want to bring your whites up a little bit, I would just say do that just a little bit. All right. And your blacks, you can make a little bit brighter as well, or you can make it a little bit darker. For the most part, I leave those blacks about where they are. All right. And that looks pretty good. All right, G for our grid view. Let's go ahead, you know what? Let's go ahead and see the before and the after we did that. All right, so here's the before our exposure adjustments and then after. Just looks a little brighter and more open. Okay, next image, let's hit D for the develop module. All right, we're gonna bring our highlights up a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna bring our shadows up a little bit as well. All right, let's keep those whites where they are. And our exposure. There we go. That looks really nice. So go back to our grid view. And now we can pretty much assume that we're gonna be using the same settings for this image, this image, and this image. So let's hold down Control or Command. And I'm gonna click on those three images. And now we're gonna to go to Sync Settings. You'll notice they're gonna to sync to the lighter one. This is a little bit lighter of border than these two. They're gonna to sync to that one. So we'll go to sync settings and now I'm going to click on basic tone, which is going to turn all these on and we're going to go to synchronize. There we go. And it lightened those images and uh, well, just made them look better. All right, cool. Moving on to the next set of images. So with this sort of thing, you can see it's definitely like on a per image basis. There we go. For this image in particular, I want my background to be bright, but I don't want that to make her skin so bright that I'm losing all my detail. So this may be one of those cases where I just have to make the background brighter in Photoshop, which is not a big deal. Bring our shadows up a little bit, see more detail there in the darks. All right, and there we go. All right, that looks great. So G, back to grid view, and then I'm gonna command click on well let's try all the way to here basically what i want to do here is spend as little time as possible so if i can take care of all these images with a white background oh, i'm going to try it so we're going to hit sync settings okay we want to sync our white balance okay we want to sync our lens corrections and we want to sync our tone so let's go ahead and see how that looks now it might not have worked really well on everything but those that it didn't work very well on we can go back and adjust Actually, I think it did a pretty good job on everything, except for these are a little bit too bright. So let's hit D for the develop module here. Go to our exposure, and I'm just gonna bring this down just a little bit. Basically, 
the background looks great here, right? It's like, oh, pure white background, you did it. <laughs> um, but I can't see, see any detail in her skin. And her skin is a lot more important than the background. Um, I can always make the background lighter. That's not at all hard to do. But I, I do want to see all the detail in her skin without any of it blowing out. All right. So there we go. Now we'll click. That one looks pretty good. Let's just see if our shadows can come up a little bit. All right, and you know what? I like that, so I'm gonna bring my shadows up on this one too. There we go. Shadows, make the shadows light and dark. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like explaining this is like, well, you see what it's doing, right? So <laughs> just continue to do that. All right, basically the goal is make sure you can see details in your highlights, midtones, and your shadows. And if you can, you're doing a good job. You're on your way. All right, let's click on this photo. D for develop. You can see our shadows are just a little bit too dark, right? So we're gonna bring our shadows up a little bit, which helps us give us more information on our subject's face. All right, and highlights looked okay. There we go. All right, that doesn't seem to be helping, so I think we're pretty good. You know what, we're bringing shadows up just a little bit brighter. All right, let's come in, click the two of those <clears throat> to sync. There we go. And so you can see I'm basically doing this per group of photos. Let's bring our shadows up a little bit there and our highlights down just a little bit. That actually looks great. So let's hit, go back to our grid view by hitting G. We're gonna sync all those. All right, now we click on the first image from the next group of pictures here. And I'm gonna bring my highlights down because you can see a lot of information was kind of like lost. I don't see a whole lot of detail in her forehead. So by bringing the highlights down, I'm able to see more detail in her forehead, which we definitely want. All right, and let's go ahead and bring our shadows up there a little bit too. All right, looking great. G for the grid view. Command click the two of those and we'll sync those together. All right, and then here on our last set of images, we're going to bring our shadows a little bit brighter and our highlights down just a little bit. Let's bring our blacks up as well. All right, that looks great. Again, I'm not so concerned with the background. Background is secondary to my subject, right? Does this look good? Can I see detail all around her face? Is my white balance okay? You know, those are the things that are important. What's going on over here? I don't really, <laughs> I don't have much concern for that. All right, let's hit command, click on the two of those, sync settings, and there we go. We'll sync that one as well. All right, guys. So you can see our images look really, really good now. Um, let's, again, we'll just click on one of these. We'll see the before. So this is straight out of the camera, and that's after a little bit of Lightroom. And you know what? I think we could even bring the highlights down a little bit more. All right, cool. So that's the end of this section. Basically, we just wanna get everything, our exposure right between our lights and our darks. Now, in the next section, we're going to be going over color, basically working on our vibrance and any adjustments we need to make with some hue. All right, we'll see you guys in the next section.